What's up guys, today I'm going to be talking about another free synthesizer plugin, in this case Synthetic by True Urban. Uh, this synthesizer contains all of the hallmarks of a great freeware synthesizer. It has a lot of presets, the controls are easy to use, and the presets sound great, and they can immediately go right into your workflow. So let's head over to the computer and listen to this synthesizer. Alright, so here we are in GarageBand with Synthetic. As you can see, controls are pretty simple. You have attack, decay, sustain, release, and then some reverb, the option to uh, change kind of the character of the synth, whether it's a poly synth or mono synth, and then just some modulation and a glide control. So let's listen to some of that. Pretty subtle reverb. Modulation can get pretty intense if you want. These dials are kind of weird though. It's almost like once you bring them down to here, the modulation or the effect is almost gone. And then obviously, you know, basic sustained controls. Anyway, let's get to some patches I enjoy. This plugin was actually designed to be used for making like rap music or trap music. However, the sounds are pretty universal and a lot of them are sounds that I like. This thing actually has a pretty good uh, organ sound in it. It's actually a very nice sound. I wasn't expecting it to sound that good. I thought it was going to be like a, a cheesy patch, but it's actually pretty usable. And uh, this is a fairly large plugin when you download it, as it, uh, I believe that the plugin doesn't generate the sounds, more or less it actually is drawing from a bank of its own samples, which could explain why it sounds good. Now this thing also has some phenomenal uh, string patches. Emo strings sounds like something, you know, right up my alley. Oh yeah. And one thing I also really enjoy doing with this plugin is uh, going and th definitely throwing an EQ on it and a reverb because there's no real uh, filtering or any type of equalization in the plugin and the reverb leaves a lot to be desired. So what I like to do generally is just uh, stick on just a basic equalizer. Drop some high end for the pads. Maybe add a little boost. and then throw on the phenomenal free Tal Reverb 4, which I've covered in another video. Uh, you can definitely check that out and download that plugin if you're looking for a phenomenal free reverb. And that is what I'm talking about. That is my favorite type of pad tone. Sounds really good. This thing also has a, some fun kind of effects that you can throw in, you know, risers. Some drops. Good stuff. And obviously a turn up sound because, you know, it's a turn up plug. -in. It's gonna get the club going, you know. I really enjoyed the basses in this plugin. They're all very usable. Oh, it's a little, a little hot coming out of the plugin. It sounds very solid. It's nice and compressed and it has a nice balance of high end sizzle and a really tight low end. Another example of that good bass sound. That's a very like sub heavy one, but Man, is that useful. It's kind of hard in a garage band or sometimes to create just a really solid sub bass tone. So there it is. And that's what I love about this particular synthesizer. There really aren't that many patches, but they're all extremely usable. There are no like throwaway synth nerd patches that you wouldn't want to use. Some good lead synths. All right, let's take a look at another one of the pads because I absolutely love these pads. So we're gonna do our thing where we engage our reverb and equalizer and then give these a listen. Oh my God, that sounds amazing.
phenomenal sounding pad. Uh, that's some of the best synth pads I've heard in the free synthesizer. Let's check out Pad Galaxy. Ooh, that one has a little more attack. You'll have to forgive my amateur keyboard playing. I'm more of a guitar guy, but maybe we can get this plugin going in a MIDI 2 guitar and mess around with that. That could be a fun video. Nice spacey pad. Very usable. Has a nice kind of 80s sound to it. Again, that additional reverb and uh, equalization with the pads makes all the difference. Here, let's try some of these with a little bit more of the modulation and some of the uh, reverb. Ooh. Awesome stuff. That is perfect for filling out a mix, complimenting it, uh, complimenting some guitars, you know, or possibly just on its own when you're doing a film score. It's just those pads, they just do something to me, man. I'm a fiend for them. All right, so that does it for this video. Overall, I think this plugin was a great find, as it sounds fantastic. I have noticed it can get a little bit buggy when you're using multiple instances of the plugin in your program, but besides that, definitely going to recommend this plugin. The link for the download is going to be in the description. Thanks for watching the video, and stay tuned for more music-related content. Peace.